post it on the internet live stream. We certainly sort of glad you're with us today. Uh, for those who are visiting and are regular members, we're going to ask you if you wouldn't mind, please, to sign up one of those white cards. You're going to find them on the in 1 Timothy, the second chapter, verse 5, uh, Paul makes a statement there in Timothy. He says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ. Paul tells Timothy that the only Jesus can be the mediator or go between and uh, to bring mankind and bring back together and, and to have a relationship with one another. If you think about that, Jesus is uniquely qualified uh, to be a mediator for us. Uh, Jesus, Jesus is deity. God and Son. Uh, Jesus created the heavens and the earth and mankind, everything that we see about us every day. Before Ellen's lesson, I will be reading 1 Peter 1, 6 through 9, New King James Version. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold, that perishes. Though it is tested by fire, may be found with praise, honor, and glorified the re uh, revelation of Jesus Christ. Who having not seen you love, though now you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy, inexpressible, and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Our hope is not that. But the fact that he did raise, we have that. Goes on and says that also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, and he didn't raise, he wasn't raised from the dead, we are all men the most pitiful, pitiful. Some translations say miserable. There's no hope. We're in misery. But now Jesus is risen from the dead. And has become the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. We have our hope because he did rise from the dead. We have our hope because he did conquer the grave. We have our hope in Jesus Christ. And because of his mercy, because of his hope, then I can have something much better that I know is always waiting on me. Good morning. Well, good afternoon now, wild, wild world. Welcome to another Sunday. I'm up here in Evansville, Indiana. Visiting with the congregation I worked with in 2018. And so, as you can see from services this morning, that's where I was. And went out to lunch with one of the families here. One of the, the guys that I really got to know. Ethan, he's a great kid. Uh, he was very happy to see me because I talked to his family and we surprised him with my presence. So, he had a good day, which was very nice. And then they took me out to eat, which I'm very thankful for. And I just came back to the house I was staying at and chilled most of the afternoon. But, uh, there is no rest for the weary. So we're on our way back to the church to go to their KPT event, which means that it's their, uh, mm, I don't know, I think it means kindergarten through preteen, but it's first through fifth grade. Um, so, there's that. It'll be a fun time. They're doing, they're doing a Valentine's thing. Not sure what it is, but I'll be there. It should be fun. Temporary tattoos. Check. Wash rag. Check. Arm. Oh my god, this was the arm. Check. <laughs> it's like shot up and... <laughs> Arm. Check. Hashtag tatted. <laughs> Well, if I had to describe the time of the KP Devo, KPT event, not Devo, it was uh, pretty nice. We packed up Valentines and candies, and then the kids handed them out after services. And of course, as you can see, all the kids received these eyes, which is fantastic because now my hand can talk. Anyway, the rest of the evening chilled at... Uh, the lovely people's house that let me stay there. And as you can see, we had a good time. <laughs> okay, stay good.